practices? I try to learn. Solo cuatro, ¿eh? Yeah. Ah. It's almost seven. Um, yeah. Luis Alonso, eh, did you hear my husband singing in, in the nearby? Nearby to me? Did no. you hear a no. song? No. No. Ah, okay. No. Is only you. <laughs> yes, it's my my husband is singing. Oh. But no. He likes singing. Yes. Yes, he likes singing a lot. Good evening. Good evening, Sandra. Good evening, Sandrita. How are you? How are you? <laughs> In a hurry, as always. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. What about you? Yes. Well, here in Chalate is maybe um, 20 minutes raining. Oh, very good. Because it is too hot there, right? Yes. And the afternoon was very hot. Oh, I imagine. Yes. And then Zacatecoluca was hot too, Patricia? Uh, I have two fans uh, because oh, <laughs> it's, so it's so cold. No. So no. hot. So hot. hot. <laughs> it's warm. Oh. Oh. Well, here in San Salvador, it's, it's a little bit cool, you know. It is nice weather here. Yes. Like when, when in Chalate raining, uh -huh. more or less uh, one hour ago, uh -huh. raining in San Salvador. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hey, good evening, girls and boys. Good evening. Hey, good evening, teacher. Good How evening, are you? Teacher. How are you doing? Uh, Okay. I'm fine, teacher. I, I was I'm really, fine, I am really mm, relaxed because last week uh, my family and I were to, were in a tour uh, to Guatemala and we have yesterday free. <laughs> oh. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so you went, you went, okay, yeah, because yesterday was Labor Day, right? Yes, yes. That's awesome. That is awesome. What about the rest, guys? What do you do? Uh, yes. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no. Continue, continue. No, Sandra. <laughs> Come on. Hold on. <laughs> no. Okay, well, yesterday I was... Um, celebrating 24 years of, of my marriage with my husband, you know, and, uh, but wow. we were working all day long. Thank you very much. But we were working all day long because uh, today uh, it was going to be the last day to pay the, the taxes uh, at the, at the um, uh, treasury uh, department of El Salvador, you know. Of Ministerio de Hacienda. Yes. 
So we were working and working so hard. Oh my God. We couldn't celebrate <clears throat> anything. Wow. <clears throat> Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Okay. Very good. Very good. All right. So, anyways. All right. That's great, guys. That is just great, you know? Um, what about the platform, guys? How are you doing with the platform? Oh, my God. What is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the, plat the platinum form. Well, this I, weekend I couldn't uh, work in the platform because <laughs> uh, I was uh, in Guatemala. All right. Oh. right. Where, 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 what place did you go to in Guatemala? Uh, <clears throat> we visited uh, Antigua, Guatemala. Um, um, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, the Atitlan Lake. Oh, nice. nice. Panajachel, you went? Panajachel, yes. Oh, good. It's new. <laughs> is, is, did, did, you like, did you like Antigua? Because going to Antigua, I feel like, I feel like, I don't know, maybe like going to Suchitoto, right? Like, it's cool, but hmm? I like swimming, you know? So, huh. yeah. Like, if I go, I'm going go to go to, to... to swimming in that lake? In what lake? Suchitlan? Yes, no, of no. course. No. Yes. Oh, really? No, no, I, I don't. I, I never see people swimming there. Uh, oh. You have to go like to a different place. Ah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, no. No, you, you can in, in Cuatepeque. You can rent oh. a a uh, water bike in Cuatepeque, you know, which is really cool. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's really, really cool. So anyways, um, I'm very glad to see you, though. Uh, Patricia, welcome. Luis, welcome. Sandra, Jenny, Selena, mm -hmm. Ailey, Carlos, Nicole, Evelyn, Julia, Patricia. Right? Welcome back. All right. Um, Thank you, teacher. So I was asking you, how are you doing with the platform? How far in the platform <laughs> are you? Well, I have begun, I have begun with, the, with the last final exam. But the uh, the um, section four two it is complicated. Very complicated. Yes, it is. Section four two is complicated. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Very good. Okay. So, anyways, um, let's get started. All right. We are going to get started. So we're going to talk about conditionals. We're going to talk about second conditionals this week, guys. All right, uh, which is, it's called unreal conditionals, okay? So that's what we are going to be going over. Wow, to make okay. the second, right? Today's May the second, yes. It's, I suppose when, it was uh, April. <laughs> no, no, we are already in May, half May, halfway <laughs> through the year. Yes, of course. halfway, so halfway through the year, so we're very. <clears throat> Teacher, tell me. Excuse me. Um, here it is raining very hard, and. Lighting is uh, streaking in case of power goes out. Okay, I right, got it. It's okay. all right. Hey, I, 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 we need rain so badly. Oh my God, this year has been so, so, so dry. I don't know what's going on, but it's, it's hot. You know, there is no rain. I need some rain, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, what do you think? It's not raining in San Salvador. Where do you live in, uh, Luis? I, I live, uh, today I live in Chalate. Today you live there? And tomorrow you uh, will live Chalate. in a different place? Yes. Uh, uh, well, nowadays, yesterday, nowadays. 
Nowadays, okay. Yes. Today I live in Chalate, Azacualpa. In you near can, to. You cannot say today I live in. Live in. No, no, you can't say that. You cannot say today I live in. That's not possible. You can't oh, say okay. that. No. No, you are you trying to say like ahora en día? Is that what you're trying to say? Hoy en día. Yes. Yeah, that's that nowadays. Nowadays. Yes. Here in Chalate. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yes. So it's raining Chalate. there. It's raining a lot. Yes. Raining a lot. Okay. I no, hope no, it yet. I hope it rain I hope it, rain, it brings, you know, it uh it reaches San Salvador. Cuz it's hot, you know. Yeah. But in the afternoon was very, very, very hot here. Yeah, yeah, I bet. And change the weather. Okay. All right. Anyways, uh, good to see you guys. So let's go ahead and talk about Unreal Conditionals. So if you've if you've gone over the platform, you might have some idea what this is. Okay. Uh, all right, Catherine. Hey guys, did we do section 3.8 already? Did I give you the answers for section 3.8? yeah yes, yes right finished finished yes uh if you go back catherine to the previous class which has been uploaded right i gave you the answers there all right i gave you the answers last week so guys remember you need to come to class right because here we see the answers all right if i go back within the class guys to section to previous section we are you know we are not able to oh perceive mm -hmm. the class, right? So ven a la clase, guys, porque por eso, por eso, por eso de la respuesta dentro de la clase, porque si no, no puedo ir, guys, por una persona atrás en la clase, right? Para darle la respuesta, got it? Right. Necesito continuar con la clase, okay? So, you need to come to class, or the other option is, pueden ver los videos que están en línea, y ahí están todas las respuestas también, right? So, anyways, okay. just FYI. Okay, I got it, Catherine. All right, no problem. All right, very good. So, guys, let's talk about Unreal Conditional. So, um, so let's see, guys, what is, you know, what is an Unreal Conditional? So, today, guys, we're going to learn about what Unreal Conditionals are right, with a structure, you know, and how to use them in real life, right? So, what is, first of all, what is the, what is the first conditional? What is first conditional? What does it say there, guys? Using if. Okay, using if, yes, we use if for, for first conditionals, right? Okay, um, what else? What is a first conditional? The answer is in front of you. You can use present and future. Okay, very good. So it's possible situations in the future, okay? So for example, I can say if I work a lot, right? Simple present. If I work a lot, I will get I will money. a lot of money. money. B U U, right? B Y <laughs> B U U, right? I will get a lot of uh, a lot of money, right? Very good. Okay. That's not always the case, guys, right? What if I were a uh what if I were a stun mason? I would not be getting money, right? Even if I've worked very hard, right? <clears throat> so it's better to say if I, no, not even if I study. I don't know, guys, if I, if I become a politician, right? Yes, is that true? If I become a politician, mm -hmm. I will earn <laughs> a lot of money, right? Very good. So anyways, so Possible situations, guys, in the present or the future. That's what we use first conditionals for, okay? And we use simple present and we actually use simple future, okay? So now, second conditionals or unreal conditionals, guys, they have two names, right? They called, they're called uh, second conditionals or unreal conditionals, okay? All right, so these two right here. <laughs> Okay, so what, what happens with these guys? All right, let me ask you something. What would you do if you won a million dollars? What would you do, guys? Tell me. Tell me your craziest ideas. 
I will buy a, a airplane. <laughs> you would I buy will, an airplane? I, I, I will think pay, I will pay all the debts of my family. You'll pay off. Yeah, pay off. Yeah. You you will you would pay off. You would, right? You would pay off yeah. the debts right. of your family. Now take check this out, okay? So you just say I would pay off, I would pay off the debts of my family, right? Not I will pay off. Because when you say I will pay off, it's something that means that okay, you have, you know, you will have most likely a million dollars, right? What else? What else? What else can we do with a million dollars? I will travel around the world. Okay, you would travel around the world. Okay. Oh. All right. What else? What else would you do? I will buy the house. My uh, a house. You would buy a big house. Okay, very good. What else would you do? I, I would build build a hospital. You would build a hospital. I I think you would require more money for that. Way more money. Because a little house is a million dollars <laughs> nowadays, right? A hospital is yeah. millions of dollars, right? You need like probably like ten million dollars, you know. I don't know, more. <laughs> right? You need to become a politician. Very good. All right. What else? What else? What else? I will pay the tenth for gas first, and then I will pay all the debts we have. You you would do what? I'm sorry. I will, I will give uh, the tenth for God at church. You know. You would keep the change. Is that what you're trying to say? No, no, the, the tenth. The tenth. The tenth. In in Spanish, we say the diezmo. Right. First. Okay. All right. Uh huh. And so I I have I have the the warranty that 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 money will be multiplied. Really. That's right. Okay. Believe right. me. Yeah. Believe All right. me. All right. Yes. <laughs> hey, but but if, if I have a question, if we if we give money to be multiplied, isn't that giving money like the the idea of giving money like that a little bit selfish? Because we would <laughs> if we, if we do it like that, right? We should not be expecting to be multiplied. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. it is not exactly for that because we have um, to be obedient with God, you know, and he uh, commands that to, to give it. Uh, and he says that uh, doing that, he will open the doors and the windows from, from heavens, and he will pour on us uh, many, many blessings. That's what the word of God says, you know? All right. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Very good. What about, okay, very good. So, Okay, so we, we got a couple of ideas, right, on what we would do if we won a million dollars. Okay, now, um, all right, I like that. I like that. You got very good ideas. I would personally invest it. Yeah. I would, have, I would grow yes. my, my, my company, you know. I think yeah. it, the thing is, is that if you save it, you can't say, I'm going to save it, right? I'm going to, if you buy, actually buying a house is good because it's an asset, an asset that, grows its value exponentially you know so so it's actually you know buying a house is good because you can resell it in, in, and it's going to be like even it goes along with inflation you know so you can do that right but uh but okay all right so let's keep talking about second conditional so if you notice guys the things that you told me are those possible situations are you gonna get possibly a million dollars well, I don't know, right? You, some of you might be politicians here. Right? I don't know. Are you going to get a million dollars, guys, possibly? No, right? We're not. No. We're not. <laughs> not like that, right? Not like that, sadly. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so, so if you noticed, we use it for, we use it for um, unreal situations, right? Okay, very good. So, guys, I want you to, I want you guys to, give me one second, guys. All right, 
So I want you guys to take a look at the structure and give me five examples, guys, with second conditionals. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and do so, guys. Okay. <coughs> All right, so five examples, take a look at the structure, okay? I want you to notice that I want you to notice that we have Past simple and a present conditional mixed together, okay? All right. So check that out, okay? So follow that structure, right? So five examples, guys. Five examples in your notebook, and I'm going to ask you for one, okay? Let's go.
Okay, guys, so let's see what we have. All right, okay. so let's see. Patricia, give me one of your examples, please. Um, if my sons finish college, they will be my co-workers. If my son finish? College. No, I know, I know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm saying finish. Son, finish. Can we say that, guys? My son, finish? Um, finish. Oh, no, no, no. If my son finished it. Finished. Finished? Like that? Like that? Uh -huh. Finished? Uh, yes. Um, college. They will be my co-workers. That, that doesn't make sense because of this. Okay. Um, okay. So, okay. So... So you're saying, if my son finished college, right? College, they would be my co-workers. So this oh, is why yes. it, doesn't, this, it doesn't make sense because son, you're talking about your son and then you're talking about they. I don't know who they is. Who is they? I, because uh, it's the songs. Your if sons. It, mm -hmm. In plural. In plural, because. So how do you say it then? Because that was not sons. plural. Sons? Are they sons or are they kids? I mean, are your are they your your kids? Because sons are like males. Is it like two sons, like male kids? Do you have male kids? Mm, no, they are. They are adults. No, no, but I mean, are they, are they, are they brothers or are they siblings or are they sisters? Brothers. They are my, 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 my sons, my, my, okay. they, they are not teenagers, they are adults. No, 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 no. But is it male I, and I, female, or is it just males? No, they are. They are. Males. No, you're not. No, you're not getting it. Son masculinos or femeninos? Son mixtos. That's what I'm asking. No, both are boys. Okay, so yes, you can say sons in that case, right? Cuando yes. es hijo e hija, no se puede decir sons. Okay, that's what. Uh, that, that was my point. Okay, check. very good. All right, so yeah, that's okay. If my sons finished finish college, they would be my co-workers, All right? Very good. So they're studying medicine. Yes, they are studying medicine. 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 Nice, nice. That would be that. That's great. Awesome. All right, uh, Sandra. <laughs> yes. If I hadn't lived my life without God near me, I would have been lost. If I had what? I'm sorry. If I hadn't lived my life. Uh -huh. With God near me. With God, with God near me. I would have been lost. With God yeah. near me, I, I would have. have lived. Oh, lived. Uh -huh. If I hadn't lived, lived. But let me ask you something, guys. Is 
Is this the structure of a second conditional? <gasps> oh, no, I'm no. sorry. Sorry. Right. If I were you, I will study more. <laughs> <laughs> I will study. All right, very good. Good job. All right, very good. Walter, thank you very much. Okay. Um, if I were Superman, I will fly around the world without problems. I will fly around the world without problems. Very good. Good job. Thank you. All right. Um, yeah, let's see who's next. Selena. I have. If I were the the the, the director, I change the situation of my college. All right. If I were the director, can we say director, guys, or director? Can I say that? Director. A principal. If I were the principal, right? Yeah. Very good. If I were the principal of what? I change. Okay, the, I change. The situation of the my situation. college. <clears throat> Hold on, but college, you know, college is. Colleague. Colleague. Colleague? What, 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 what word are you trying to say in Spanish? I'm sorry. Is co worker or I, I don't know. Colleagues? Uh, yeah. Colleagues. Yeah. Colleagues. All right, colleagues. Okay, very good. All right, very good. You can say co-workers to colleagues. All right, very good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, uh, Luis Alonso. Sorry, teacher, the energy is gone. <laughs> All right. Uh, if if I were if I were you, I would look for another job. Okay. If you were me, you would look for another job, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. If I were you, I would look for another we'll look for another job. Job. Okay, got it. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right. Um let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Evelyn. Okay. Um if I had a more free time, I would go to the beach every weekend. I would go to the beach every weekend. Okay, great. It's too hot, too hot to go to the beach every weekend. <laughs> then, you know, you know what? I like. I think beaches are nice when you look at them, right? But. I like to stream, you know, and beaches here in El Salvador are oh not God. meant for swimming. <laughs> are not meant for swimming. You know, here, if you swim, I don't know, maybe you're a professional and you like to swim in the beach, right? But um, yeah, well, it's not so hard to swim in, in the beach. It uh, is. The thing is. The thing is that, that the water is too salty and uh, sometimes the, my skin it, it itches. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> and, no, but... the sun, and the sun and the sun is sometimes uh, it's too strong and yes. also I, I yes. get red all over my face. <laughs> all right, very good, very good, guys. Okay. Hey, teacher, how how structure a negative sentence using that structure? The negative is the last is the the part of the if or is the part of the will? We're gonna get there. You can use it in both. It depends on uh, what you want to say, but it's guys the negative form. We're gonna get there, right? But it's simple because it's mm -hmm. simply, guys. You follow the same structure that you follow with everything else. This is the auxiliary, right? Okay. For this clause, right? We have two clauses here. For this clause, okay. this is the, hold on. This is the auxiliary, okay. right? Yeah. We just say had or hadn't, right? Okay. And in this clause, the auxiliary is? Would. Would. Right? Would. So had or hadn't. Now, okay. where do you use it? It depends on what Would. you want to say, right? Okay. It's like, okay. Yeah. When you use it, it's like when you say, it's like you ask me, hey, teacher, ¿cuándo, ¿cuándo puedo decir no? <laughs> so, right? so, that's the yeah. so yeah so but yeah basically the particle not is just after 
the auxiliary. Yes, uh, I'm sorry, somebody asked me a question. Go ahead. Yes, teacher. I have a, a, an example with a negative. Okay. If, I, if I weren't a forewarned woman, the banks probably would take away our cars. If I weren't a what? A forewarned, forewarned. Um, forewarned like this? Prevenida. I have forewarned, yeah, forewarned woman. 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 You, you, need, you need to say cautious. Cautious? Yes, cautious. I have never in my life heard somebody say forewarned. Oh. It's, yeah, they, I, I like the fact that, yeah, that's cautious, just cautious. Ah, uh, cautious, oh. Cautious, ah, uh, in your word. If I were in a cautious woman. Cautious. Uh-huh. The banks probably would take away our cars. The banks probably. Probably, like this. Uh -huh, probably, we'll yeah. Take away, we'll take away our, away cards. our cards. All right. There's our a cars, problem cars. here. The adverb here with probably, right? Mm -hmm. this, this is another thing that we're going to learn, guys, but mm -hmm. adverbs go, go after the auxiliaries, okay? Mm -hmm. right. Oh, you mean cars, not cards? Uh, not cars. Yeah, cars. cars. All right. Very good. All right. Yes, guys, in English, you have a lot of words, right? But you said you said forewarned, and the thing, guys, is that it's like it's like imagine a gringo learning Spanish, and he lives in El Salvador, and he says, mm, "Vos queréis comida?" Right? Nobody talks like that. Got it? It is Spanish, <laughs> yes, but nobody talks like that, right? <laughs> no. Right? no. <laughs> All right. So yeah, it it exists, but yeah, you you can't talk like that. It's a Shakespeare vocabulary. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> how art thou? Uh, you know, how art thou? Oh, wow. Right? Oh, my. <laughs> right? That is English, yeah, but nobody speaks like that. So, forewarned, forewarned is something, something that nobody says, right? Nobody uh -huh. says forewarned. No? Yes. It's cautious, uh, right? But, but very good. Good job. That is, it's, it's because you might read a lot of books, you know, and you get a lot of vocabulary from books. Um. Course. So that's great. That's great. All right, guys. So notice something, right? So we're using, guys, the combination of simple past and what else? The conditional. Exactly, right? So a present conditional, right? Yes. So what we, what did we use it for, guys? What did we use this for? For? For what? Imaginary situations. Imaginary, Imaginary situations in the present or future, all right? So that's what we use these four guys, okay? For imaginary situations in the present or future, okay? Yes. All right, so then guys, all right? So then we have, uh, hold on, this is here. You know, one thing I, I really don't like about Zoom guys is the fact that it covers like too much screen, you know? I don't know, it's weird. Um, so anyways, all right. So one thing is that we need to take care of here, guys, is the fact that um, we are, we're not gonna use this if we want to talk about a possible situation, right? Also, if we use the verb be, because I want you to notice something. If I were you, why do I say, guys, if I were you instead of if I was you? Mm -hmm. No. So, guys, when we talk in second conditionals, we are always, when, whenever it's something imaginary, we will use where and not was. It doesn't matter if it is first person or third person. We are going to use was. I mean, where, sorry. Because okay. we know, right, that it's I was, he was, she was, it was, right? So we, the conjugation is was, but for unreal where? situations, for imaginary situations, we are going to use where, not was. Now, I have an example for you guys. Well, I have, I, I have a question for you, okay? If I were rude, I am sorry let me ask you something so is this sentence correct or incorrect what do you think 
It's correct. Correct. It's correct? It's incorrect. It's incorrect? It's incorrect. Uh, it's don't incorrect. use the... I will be... I'm sorry. Whatever. I will, yeah. If I were rude, I'm sorry. Si no fuera tan rude. Yes. So correct. Then, it is correct. If I were rude, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay, right? Guys, it's hard so to raise, say I'm sorry. <laughs> raise, raise your hand if you think this is correct. <laughs> If I were in rude, maybe? No. Okay, so guys, let me ask you something. What do we use? What do, what do we use second conditionals for? I just told you what we used to do, right? Present conditional, what, what we don't use. Imaginary yeah. situations. Imaginary. All right, so second conditionals are, no, 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 no. right? They are used to for imaginary situations situations right yeah on real situations that's what they're called on real conditionals right okay so if i were rude i am sorry take a look at that sentence is that something imaginary yeah probably not if we <laughs> no <laughs> you know that sounds that sounds that sounds like you know this is you, you know, and you were, you know, talking some nonsense, right? Okay. An asterisk. Okay, so, <laughs> so what? Okay, so maybe, you know, maybe you were talking some nonsense to your kid, right? I don't know. Right? Because she was, I don't know, she was... <laughs> Doing the exact same thing you were doing, okay? <laughs> All right. So now, okay, so, you know, you said this, and then afterwards, you know, you felt bad about it, and you said, hey, if I were if I were rude, I am sorry. So my question is, is this correct? If I were rude, I'm sorry. Is that an imaginary situation? Yes or no? No. No. No, guys, no. that is yes, not, real. okay? It's, real. it's a in real situation. So in this case, is this correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect. It is incorrect, okay? Yes. So what should we use there? Remove, for, for, remove if I was. If, if I, I was, was, if I was rude, I'm sorry. That's the mm -hmm. answer. If I was rude, mm -hmm. I am sorry. In this case, guys, we can say if I was rude because it's a real situation, right? If I was rude, I am sorry. I'm not imagining that, okay? And that's why we're not using a present conditional here, you know? Anyways, so if I was rude, I am sorry, right? But if I said, guys, you know, if, if I was a pony, if I was a pony, I would, <laughs> I would travel the, I will travel the whole town. So if I was a pony, if I was a pony, is this correct? No. No, no right? No, no, no. If I were a pony. Because if in wear. this case, if I wear a pony, wear. right? Now, can I say, guys, can I say if they was rude? If they was rude, I am sorry. Is this is this correct? If no. they was rude? No. 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 But they it, were. But it is a real situation. So is that not correct? No. You need to use where? Where are they? You need to use the conjugation, were, right? Yeah. Very good. Were. They were rude, right? Were. Exactly. Yeah, so in this yeah. case, in this case, guys, we are not using where because it's a real situation. We're using where because we're conjugating they, right? And they mm -hmm. conjugate with where. All right. If I said, guys, if uh, if you was rude, I am sorry. Is this, is, this, is this correct? No. No. If you were. Oh, if you were. Even if, if I'm were. talking about one one person, this is only one person. Only. If you were rude, I'm sorry. One, right? No, but, but that's case, you're I sorry. Was. Okay, that's, this part doesn't matter. Oh, okay, yes. let's say you're sorry. Right? If you were, you should be sorry, right? Mm -hmm. B. All right. So what do you think? Is this correct? If you was rude, you should be sorry. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Why not? 
It's it's no you real. Were, real condition. Real. You need to use where. Okay, where. where. You. But it's not unreal. It's not an imaginary situation. This person was rude. Yes, the, the real situation is that this person was rude. So should we, what should we do? Help me, because I don't know. <laughs> if the only one who is, is wrong because you need to use he, I don't know, if he was rude. Yeah, of course. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah, that's the one. This is not an this is a real situation. But the conjugation, the conjugation with you will always be where, guys. Where? Guys, yes. you was doesn't exist, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Right. You was doesn't exist. That's the answer. You can never say you was, okay? Doesn't matter. That doesn't exist. All right. So that is the structure. Do we have any questions, guys, on the structure? We good? All right, so then we have guys, okay, the structure is separated into clauses. So we have two type of clauses. We have something that we call the main clause, and we have something that we call the if clause, okay? The if clause, guys, is just a clause that starts with if. And the main clause is a clause that doesn't start with if, okay? Now, if I, have, if I had a million dollars, I would buy a big house. Can I... Say I would buy a big house if I had a million dollars? Yes, you can. Yes, <laughs> what's going to be the only difference? Yes, you can. Big house. So what's going to be the only Without. difference if you said that? Without comma. Exactly, yes. right? Okay. If you place, guys, if you place the main clause at the beginning, there is not going to be any commas, okay? All right? So no commas, guys, if you place them at the beginning. Yes. Okay. All right. So take a look at the second example that we have here. If I, I would buy a big house if I had a million dollars. Now, I want you to notice, guys, that I will never go together. I mean, if will never go together, guys, with would. You can't say if I would buy a big house. That is incorrect. You can only combine if with the past tense, uh, right? If I had a million dollars, okay? Yes, yes. All right? You need Very good. to put comma. If you start with if, yes, you need to write down a comma. That is correct, okay? So we said, guys, we, that we use this for imaginary situations or things that are not true or not possible in the present or the future. Things that which, you know, things which don't happen or won't happen. If I were you, I would drive more carefully in the rain. Can I be you guys? Is, is it possible for me to be you, to be in your beautiful body? I mean, to, 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 to replace you? That sounded so bad. To replace you? Mm. To replace your body? Mm. No, right? No, I can't. I can't, right? I can't. <laughs> All right, if I were you, I would drive more careful in the rain because I cannot be you. So I am not you. So this is unreal. Paula would be sad if Jen left, right? Jen, uh, so so did she leave? No. No, right? No. So, but is it possible? No. Yeah, it might be a possibility, okay? But that's not going to happen. I mean, right, that's, right now it's not going to happen, right? If dogs had wings, they would be able to fly. Can dogs ever grow wings, guys? No. No. No, no right? No, exactly. Okay. Well, maybe one day, you know, with science, right? I don't know. I don't know. That that would be that would be crazy. But but yeah, guys, okay. So it's not possible, right? Mm -hmm. So we won't we won't say, all right. So uh, let's do some exercises, guys. I have I'm gonna take a screenshot and I'm gonna send this to the WhatsApp group, okay? And what I want you to do is that I want you to complete them, all right? And then we, maybe today, right? I might go over the section four of the platform, if not tomorrow, but we'll go, we're gonna go over, uh, section three, guys. No, it's four, right? We're gonna go over section four. Hold on, give me one second, guys. Three. 
So I'm sending the images for the exercises there. My God, it's really hot today, guys. Jesus. Hey, send me, send me, send me some rain from Chalate. <laughs> it's really hot. It's really, really hot. The rain stop, teacher. Here. Oh, it's not even gonna rain for too long, is Back. it? All right, so it's just six exercises, guys, that I sent to the to the WhatsApp group. So let's complete them, okay? And let's work together, okay? Now, after that, I want you to answer this these questions, okay? I wanna send you these questions right now, hold on. All right, so these four questions, guys, all right, after you finish the exercises, okay? So let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, guys. Oh, I didn't mm -hmm. open the rooms, let's go. Okay. Hey, Joaquin. Good evening. Oh, good evening, Walter. Okay. You got it the picture? Yes. Okay. Okay, and the first question. The first question. Yeah. My God, we can see that. Listen, uh -huh. if there, if uh -huh. there, I think is were no mosquitoes, we are plural. Were. Were. Uh -huh. were. Were. I think. Were. Yes, I think that. Little, it's little. where. There were no mosquitoes. There were. Uh -huh. If were. There no will mosquitoes. be no malaria. Uh -huh. I think it's, it's a, real a real situation, right? Yes. For such reason, use a uh, were. Were. Mm -hmm. Were for uh, auxiliary. Yes. Word. Yeah. Okay. okay. Number one is word. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the second one. But, but I think I think it also would be better if the letter C. If I have if I oh yeah you're right if you have a pen if I have but I think it's gonna be with the B the letter B the number two I, I think is the letter D D I have D as that? Yes, D. The last okay. one. If I have a penny for every pen of soda I drunk in my life, I would be uh, I would be rich. Okay. Okay, the next one. It, it, so the it's gonna one. be with the D, right? Yes, I 
I think that is D because it's uh, following the structure. Yeah, you're right. Uh, number three, if her hair were, if her hair were black, she will look, letter A, uh, she looks, Mm, but that that is not a uh, real situation yeah it's not real so so for that reason i think it's will be it will be the letter a sorry like will look if if her hair were black she would look completely different because you are just imagining that she with, with uh black hair I don't know. That, that's what I, I look, I, but I think that we have to to use the the letter B. Looks. If her hair were black, she looks completely different. Uh he will will look. Will will look uh, uh the letter D, the last one. Okay. So, teacher, if uh, we are <laughs> we are wrong, are we wrong? In well, the we're gonna see the answers at the end. Um, after we go back, okay. So, okay. but yeah, remember okay. it's unreal situations, right? If it is an unreal situation, you need to use an unreal condition. Okay. Okay, teacher. So. So for me, it's the letter A. <laughs> we'll look. But uh, if her, her hair were black, that is a possible. Then yes. she will look completely different. No, that that's that's a, that's an imaginary situation, because you're imagining the hair being black. You're not. Um. Uh, yeah, that's still imaginary. It's an idea that you got. Uh, okay. In 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 that case, uh, we we will use good look. Yes. Look. Good, not not good. Would. Good. Good. Yes. Yes. Good. Thank you. Exactly. The number four, if smoking were out. Uh, if smoking were alone, oh, 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 oh. go back now. Not all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the answers. Okay. So, number one, if there. If there would be no mosquitoes, there would be no malaria. If there is, if there are, if there were. There are D, where? D, where? If there where? were, right? If there were no mosquitoes, there would be no there malaria. Be no malaria. Right? Exactly. Number two, if I have. Um, if I have D. Have. D. If I D. had a penny for every can of soda I, I've um, drank in my life, I would be rich, right? Letter D. If I yeah. had. A, if I had this, if if her hair were black, she letter A will look completely different. She or... would look completely different, right? That's letter A. That is correct. <laughs> Number four, if smoking if smoking were allowed, letter A, letter A, A, right? Four, I. What C had a cigarette? C, had a cigarette. C, C. I would, would have, 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 guys. I would, would have a cigarette. Right, I would. Remember that if will be used with simple past. The mm -hmm. main clause will be used with would. Oh okay. yeah. All right. If the weather. If the weather. Um. Weather. Weather. 
Where we're better, go. us better. We could go. We'll go. go to the park. We would we'll go to the park, right? So which one is it? The A. The letter A. A. I think the letter D. I don't know. A. D. No, no. The A. 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 Letter E. So, letter E. A. A. All right. A. It's a. 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 Right? A. It is A. Where we go? Oh, okay, that's true. All right, we'd be on the beach if we if we if we were be in Mexico. We were we 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 in Mexico. We that is correct. All right, very good, guys. Okay, that is correct. Okay, I think it didn't give us a chance to talk about um uh, well to, to practice. <laughs> right? No, we're not we're gonna see that we're gonna see that tomorrow. Okay, that teacher. Tomorrow. We don't have time right now, guys. All right, okay. so guys, do we have any questions? Um, no, Good? not right now. All right, no. so we still need to talk about uh, I wish and even if, and even, uh, what is it? Uh, what is the next topic? It's even if, and even- Even though. Even though, right? Mm -hmm. For some people, guys, the, those are things that people feel like feel very complicated you know when they learn that um but it's pretty easy i'll so we're gonna go over that uh this week guys all right if you have any questions guys let me know please guys uh if you can help each other guys on whatsapp do that please um but other, other than that remember that all the answers guys are in the recordings so if you miss the class you can go back to the recordings and you'll see the answers from the platform from section three there okay thank you very much guys i'll see you tomorrow take care guys see you tomorrow Thanks. bye Good night. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you thank you